Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine with a three card spread. I'm doing the monthlies for March. So this is for Aquarius for March 2020. Let's see what March has in store for you. I pulled three cards. We have Judgment. We have the Four of Swords in the reverse. And then we have the Ten of Cups in the upright. Okay, let's get started with the first one. And this is what I'm drinking today. Okay, so with Judgment, I call this the Awakening card, the Great Aha card. So I'm seeing that after the month of February, that you'll be uh, awakening up to something. You're going to be realizing things, and you're going to be going, oh, uh-huh, I didn't notice this, I didn't know that, now I know. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, and the upright position is, sing is like I'm saying, it singles... Um, an awakening and coming alive or a change of awareness I see that you're changing awareness it's like um, things that you didn't realize before in your life you're realizing now okay it could be good things and it could be bad things but you're gonna change because now you you realize stuff that you didn't before like maybe you were acting a certain way or doing a certain way or someone in your life was acting a certain way. I'm seeing the Aries Leo and Sagittarius that was that either you're involved with or was involved with and you didn't realize some of the things that they were doing and then when Mercury retrograde came in February you know of this year you realized some of the things that they were doing and you were like oh okay I didn't realize that. So, you are, I, I am seeing that you're learning something new, maybe at a job, or, um, yeah, you're learning something new. Um, you're just going to be suddenly, I keep hearing that, you're going to be, <coughs> excuse me, suddenly realizing things that you didn't know existed, and, and that's going to move you in a different direction. Maybe... Maybe um, you're going to leave an attachment or leave a relationship or leave a job or something like that or already did because of Mercury Retrograde and, and you left it because you realized something. Some truth came out, okay? So now we have the Four of Swords. So after you realize that truth or right before it, <coughs> excuse me, you were... Um, you were taking a break. So this card, when it's in the upright, you're taking a break, you're tired, it's like you can't fight a fight no more, and you had to rest. And you see, maybe even some people here were praying for you, and maybe you were sick. I'm seeing a lot of you were sick, and you were maybe even hospitalized, and you weren't sure, um, you know, if you were going to come out of it or not. And... Um, so yeah, I'm seeing, I'm seeing the hospitalization. Uh, some of you came out of a hospital resting comfortably, um, and I'm also seeing mental stuff that you were going through some mental stuff. But it's in the reverse, okay? So now that you've gone through all that stuff, you're ready to get back into action. Is what I'm hearing. So some of you were sick, and now you're ready to get back into action. Some of you have lost a job. And now you're ready to start again, especially after Mercury Retrograde goes direct on March 10th. Wait till March 10th before you start a new job or a new relationship. Um, I'm seeing a lot of you getting your energy back, physical energy back, and mental energy back. Because you didn't have that before when you went through some, whatever traumatic event you just went through, you, you felt like you just had to stop right there and just stop everything you were doing and just lay down and take a break because a lot of you were taking breaks okay but now like i said after mercury goes direct on march 10th you're not going to take that break anymore you're going to get up you're going to start over i am seeing a gemini libra and aquarius coming in for you kind of helping you and this energy also might just be you you know ready to get up and start over again but whatever you move into whatever you do is going to be proved successful because Right here, we have the Ten of Cups right next to it, okay? So with the Ten of Cups, look at that. You see the man and woman raising their hands up in the air. The children are playing. So this means 
um, they're, they got an abundance. Look at all the cups. They got a, every cup represents, you know, something great, money, love, home. They got a lot of land. They got children. They've, they got their house in the back. So this is like the um, American dream. So after you move out of all those energies, you're going to be basically living the American dream this year because a lot of those good things are going to come in. Okay, again, close the door on the past. Let the past go and let the new energies come in because I do see all these crops represent something. This one represents love, money, success, travel, children, home, marriage, car, so on and so forth. Do you get what I'm saying? So that's what's coming in for you once you close the door on the past, once you let those old energies go and <clears throat> you come out of this... Um, physical either you had physical sickness or you had uh, mental breakdown or you you know maybe you were mad at somebody at your job uh, maybe somebody was mad at you it could also mean family members you were fighting with family members or fighting with a co-worker at work I am seeing that I'm seeing a lot of that um, perhaps you broke up with a Gemini Libra and Aquarius or um, yeah Gemini Libra and Aquarius or as um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and and you, some truths came out, and I see that some truths came out maybe through a text message, or a phone call, or something like that. But you found out some truth about someone. If you were involved with someone like that, you found out the truth, and it broke you down. I see that it broke you down. It had to, you had to lay down like this. It broke you down physically, emotionally, and mentally to where like you just didn't know what to do so you took a break from that you took a break from that relationship that job that friendship whatever it was you took a break from um yeah so you were on a break for a while but like i said it's in the reverse so now you're ready to get back up i do see travel uh you might be traveling with a gemini leave an aquarius um yeah and i see that um you might meet a gemini leave an aquarius also on this travel okay and i'm also seeing that there's uh there might have been some labor problems at work or or some kind of union upsets maybe you're in a union and and you yeah, went on strike or something like that um but that's that strike is about to be over because i'm seeing you know when it's in reverse everything's about to be over um yeah so you <laughs> excuse me I see a lot of opportunities coming in again with this card here because um, you went ahead and moved forward once you move forward and come out of that energy you're gonna be okay this card is a card of family love and marriage okay and um, I see a lot of people buying a new home wait till after March 10th to buy that home I oh I see a baby being born. So a lot of you might be announcing that you're going to have a baby from a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, yeah, and I see I see change of residence. A lot of you are going to have a change of residence. You're buying, you're going to have a ba baby, so that's going to expand your family. So for that, you're going to move into a bigger home with more room so you can provide for your children and your family. I see that happening. Um, I see friends, you making... Uh, friends with people that you weren't um, friendly with before when well, the month of March and so on you're gonna be more friendly with them and, and get new friends I see new friends coming in okay I also see a family reunion and a celebration of some type I see an anniversary so all those things are coming up in March that you're gonna be celebrating with a group of people I see a big huge group of people um, I see some of you if you're already married I see, or already in a couple, I see some of you re, uh, how do you say that? When you redo your vows, your vow, vows, <laughs> I can't talk. You're going to be uh, reciting your vows to each other, vows, I can't say that word, damn it, to each other. <laughs> anyway, um, and I also see a proposal. Some of you might be getting proposed to, like when you travel, and then you you might travel abroad and someone there, you're going to meet someone there that's going to propose to you and you're probably going to bring them back home, you know, to meet your family or something like that. 
<laughs> so I see a lot of traveling with this card. I see a lot of good things coming with this card. So yeah, but like I said before, don't do anything until after March 10th when Mercury goes direct, then you'll be safe and you won't lose anything because we're still on Mercury retrograde. Thank God it's going to be over because I have had computer problems. You know, I just hooked up my internet and I still can't use it because I've had nothing but internet problems. I have to call the internet service several times and I know it's because of Mercury retrograde. And I went against my own advice. I signed that contract during Mercury retrograde and I'm having problems with the internet service I got. So... <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, that's your message for Aquarius, March 2020. That's your monthly. Um, yeah, so if you want a personal reading, contact me with information down below, and I'll get back at you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Thank you for all the subscribers so far. Thank you for your messages. Some of you people be cracking me up with those messages. They're so funny. I do not listen to other readers, so when you get in my comments telling me that this reader said this, that, and that, I don't really pay attention to that because I don't listen to other readers. There's a lot of fake readers on here that just read out of a book, you know, so no. I, I'm a psychic uh, reader, so I don't listen to other readers or what they have to say. But anyway, thank you for your comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.